Hey guys, welcome back to the Lake of the Woods and More Fishing Report. This reports for March 10th through March 17, 2022. One of the big things to talk about this week, some weather changes. Looks like we're going to finally start to get to spring, probably mid next week. Looks like temps are going to get above freezing and that's going to make some changes. Now yet this week we've still got some teens below zero, at least up here in the North Country to go. So if you've got a house up on like Lake of the Woods and you're thinking about moving it, probably going to want to really start thinking about moving it here in the next few days. There's a lot of snow cover up there, very difficult to move around. There's probably going to be a lot of people trying to get everything off at the kind of the last minute here in the next week coming up. Once we get to those warmer temperatures, we're going to be dealing with slush, with flooding. Like I said, there is a lot of snow up here. One of the heavier snow years that uh, I can remember living up here. With that said, let's start with the fishing report this week. Let's go out to Devil's Lake, North Dakota, talk to Bry's Guide Service. All right, this week Mark reports that there's really good ice out on Devil's Lake. He says at this rate, they're going to be ice fishing into April this year. Now he says the walleye bite, it's been spotty. He says they'll go into an area one day, they'll do pretty decent. They'll go back to that area the next day and the fish just aren't cooperating. Either they're not there or they're marking fish and it's really tough to get them to bite if they'll bite at all. Now he says you're going to want to focus, what they're, what they're focusing on is 12 to 24 feet of water. They're still fishing humps, rock piles, flooded timber, flooded brush. That 12 to 24 foot uh, depth is pretty key right now. They're using minnows or full body minnows on buckshots, PK spoons, Lindy flyers, jig and wraps, things of that nature. He says, but don't forget, split shots and plain hooks under a bobber will also work. But probably the biggest key to catching walleyes right now is just, you just got to be on the move. Those cloudy days will produce a little bit better uh, throughout the day. Sunnier days, you know, it's going to be that morning and that evening bite. Now Mark says, as far as the perch bite, he says, finding perch is pretty easy. Getting them to bite is another matter. They've been targeting 30 to 40 feet of water. They've been around looking for mud off of structure. They say that's been the best area to find perch right now. When, they, when they're when they searching for perch, they're still using the aggressive method. Your smaller buckshots, PK spoons, things of that nature. And then once they're getting dialed in on a, on a school of fish, they're dropping down sizes to that tungsten spikes and wax worms is doing pretty good. Now for the perch, Mark says electronics are key as well. He says, but one of his best suggestions is to use a rod with a very sensitive tip. He said a lot of times you won't even feel that perch bite and you can actually see that fish bite and, and set the hook and you got a perch. So those have kind of been the keys to success this week out on Devil's Lake. Mark also says Ed's Bar and Bait right now has very good deals on electronics, augers, they got some discounted rods, tackle, stuff like that, everything you need if you're heading out to Devil's Lake. So don't forget to check out Ed's Bar and Bait. Now your weather out on Devil's Lake this week Friday's going to be pretty cool, high of 2 and a low of minus 9. You're looking at a 20 mile an hour wind. Moving into Saturday, it's going to warm up some, about 31 for a high. It's going to dip down there at night, but not quite below zero, but you're still looking at a 20 mile an hour wind. Sunday, you're looking at about 27 with about a 15 mile an hour wind. So still going to be dealing some, with some wind, but the temperatures are going to start moderating, going to start being more like spring as we get into next week. If you're looking to get out on a late ice trip on a Devil's Lake, pike walleye perch get in touch with Bry's guide service now talking with mike peluso out at devil's lake he's got a couple days left and he's going to head out west out to bismarck he's going to be focusing on the river out there he's got some openings yet and he says the missouri river is just lights out for big walleyes in the spring his personal best out there is 35 inches he said the state record has been broken a couple times over the last couple years and he anticipates this year to not be any different if you're wanting to make an open water trip out on the Missouri River and chase some hog walleyes, get in touch with Mike Peluso's Outdoors. All right, moving up to Lake of the Woods, I talked to Marshall from Lake Road Lodge this week. He says fishing over the past week has been pretty spotty, marking quite a few fish, but getting to bite has been the tough part. So there again, key is on the electronics. Try to figure out how you can make those fish bite. You're gonna have to experiment, try some different things. Now, as we get into late winter, Marshall says he thinks one of the main causes of these fish being so lethargic is the lower oxygen levels. Now, as we warm up, we should start to get some runoff from the Rainy River. Hopefully that'll bring some more oxygen rich water into the lake and hopefully that will get the fish fired up a little bit. Now, not only is it a good time to try find walleyes in a little bit shallower, but also the pike are starting to move up as well. Seeing a lot of stuff on Facebook, a lot of reports of guys catching some really big pike on tip-ups right now. So that's another thing that you can do up on Lake of the Woods. Marshall says he's going to pull 
his fleet of houses off on Monday the 21st. So that'll be the last day that they'll have ice houses out. Now he says he's always, now the motel will remain open throughout the season. They probably are going to do some tip-up trips as well. So if you're wanting to get up on Lake of the Woods, do some tip-up fishing, get in on some late walleye fishing yet, get in touch with Marshall from Lake Road Lodge. Okay, moving up to the Northwest Angle, talked to Richard from Young's Bay Resort this week. He's got a couple guys that were out fishing in 28 feet of water, not quite down to garden. They were catching some fish, it wasn't lights out, but they were catching. Uh, those fish seem to be a little lethargic up there as well. Buckshots and minnow heads were the baits and lures that they were using. Not really any reports of a lot of slush, uh, so to speak, up into the angle there. Uh, hearing some reports of a lot of slush around garden. So if you're going to try and make a late trip up that way, you might have to uh, deal with a little bit of slush. Now obviously this is going to change once the weather gets a little bit warmer. We're going to be dealing with a lot of slush and a lot of flooding with the amount of snowfall that we have. Young's Bay still has some, some lodging left for March. If you're looking to get up to the northwest angle, get in touch with Young's Bay Resort. Now weather for this week up on Lake of the Woods, going to be a cold day on Friday. Going to be a high of just a couple degrees. You're going to dip down to like 12 below at night. All weekend you're going to be looking at a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. Now Saturday you're going to get up in the high teens and Sunday going to be in the mid 20s. And then it looks like about Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday we're going to start getting above zero. Probably going to get start getting some melting. Like I said, we're going to get some slush. It's going to be going to make things a little difficult for travel up there once she starts to get slushy. So if you got houses. Better think about moving them here pretty quick. All the links for all the resorts and guides are in the description of this video. We'll be back next week with another fishing report. So until then, I hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. And we will see you on the next one.